Today we are taking a closer look at a destruct destructive bug, the gypsy moth. WBZ's Pamela Gardner has more on what to look for and how to prevent the gypsy moths in this week's Gardening with Gardner. Well, hello again. We're out here in beautiful Southboro, and we're talking about the elusive gypsy moth caterpillar. It has returned, and we want to talk with an arborist, Eric Taylor from Lynch Plant Healthcare, about what we can do. Well, at this point in the year, with the temperatures increasing, they've made their way out of their egg sacs and the barks of trees, and on some of their favorites, like oak trees or hickory trees, they're all over the place on the underside of the leaf. What a homeowner needs to do is kind of go over to their trees and assess the situation. You can't really notice it yet. Well, thankfully, they probably are in such a small phase that they haven't done a lot of damage yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you look at like the underside of a leaf, like, uh, like right here, for instance, mm -hmm. you can see them. The bigger they grow, they can eat a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once they're at the adult phase of their life, mm -hmm. they can decimate a tree's canopy in a couple of days. So right now is the time to treat for them? Yes. And what can you do? Can a homeowner do it themselves? A homeowner um, may have luck doing it themselves if they're smaller trees. Mm. You may have to bring in a professional to, mm -hmm. to get trees that are very yeah. tall. And you use a spray? Yeah, so we do two applications between now and you know, mid-June, mm -hmm. um, both phases of their life. What was the hesitation in past years for people not spraying for these? Well, in Massachusetts, um, prior to last year, uh, they hadn't really been a nuisance in, since like 1989. Mm. Um, the, the fungus called Entomophaga had kept them in check for you know, about 25 plus years. Um, we were very hopeful that the reemergence of that fungus last June yeah. was going to present it so that there was no gypsy moth caterpillar problem at all mm. this year. Uh, unfortunately, over the past week or so with the temperatures increasing, we've gotten so many calls from uh, you know, towns like Southboro, Hudson, Dover, Sherburne, Millis, Walpole, and they're definitely back in large numbers. But now there are environmentally friendly options for the spray. Yeah, I think years and years ago, people were you know, adverse to spraying because there was only harsh insecticides that were available to treat for them. You know, now we're fortunate enough to you know, have materials that are, are non-toxic to bees and other pollinators. So make sure when you call to get these gypsy moth caterpillars out of here, you use an environmentally friendly substance with that company. And it's always good for the kids and the pets. See you next time. So back in the 80s, we'd put like tin foil and Vaseline around. Yeah, I know, you were telling me about it. But I don't know if that works. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs>